This is the Nokia Lumia 820 Screen Repair Guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, we're going to use a safe open pry tool, a Torx T3 screwdriver, a Torx T6 screwdriver, and for touchscreen replacements, we're going to use fresh adhesive. To begin, we're going to use our safe open pry tool and remove the back battery cover. This back battery cover is pretty stubborn on the Lumia 820. So I'm going to lift it on the top here and just gently work it around until we can remove it. There we go. The next step is going to be removing the battery here and then also the SIM card. To remove the back housing, we're going to release four T6 screws which is located in each corner here. These four screws are all the same size, so be sure to keep them in a pile, separate from the screws marked in red. These screws are going to be Torx T3 screws, shown now. With all the screws removed, the back cover comes off very easily. On the top here we have the headphone jack, and on the bottom we just have the loudspeaker. Just going to set that aside, move our screws aside. On the motherboard here we just have two connections. The top one here is going to be your touchscreen, which is a simple pop connector. So use safe open pry tool and gently lift it up. And the bottom here is going to be your LCD flex cable, another simple pop connector. And the motherboard just pops out just that easily. There's a look at the motherboard on each side. I'm just going to put that to the side for now. Now that we have the motherboard removed, we just need to remove the LCD screen from the front housing. To do that, we're just going to use our safe open pry tool and kind of work our way around this metal housing here. It should pop off quite easily. That's going to be attached to our LCD screen, which as you can tell, the front lens of the LCD has been completely shattered. So I'm just going to remove all the shards here. The touchscreen in this device is actually in perfect condition. It's just the outer section of the LCD has become cracked. So I'm just going to remove all these remaining shards. The LCD screen can then be removed from that chrome casing and replaced. We're now going to focus on removing the touchscreen from the front frame. To do that, we're going to use a heat gun or a hair dryer. We're going to use a medium setting, and we're just going to begin warming the adhesive on the outside edges here. We're going to use quick movements, not staying in one spot for too long. I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat on the front and the back. Once the adhesive is properly warmed, we're just going to use our safe open pry tool, and then pry in between the touch screen and the front frame. You start up here next to the ear speaker. This is usually the best point of entry when removing the touchscreen from the frame. As you can see, the sides just slide off very easily using your safe open pry tool. The bottom here is held in with some pretty strong adhesive. Once that adhesive is released, you can then remove the touchscreen from the front frame. You will now be able to replace your touchscreen digitizer. Be sure to check us out at RepairsUniverse.com where you can find all the tools and parts used in this video. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.